I am about to catch a fever any minute now, so whatever I say or do in this video, I do not take responsibility for it. Hey guys, my name is Ellen Fox, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to be taking a look at the final trailer of Arcane. Let's do it, before I catch a fever. This city was founded to be a bastion of enlightenment. We are the city of progress, and our future is bright. We were once one tribe. Now, we are houses divided. As time passes, the topsiders are leaving us further and further behind. There's never enough to go round. It can either break you or forge you into something greater. Hi. I need to speak with one of the inmates. Who are you? I have to try and find my sister. Powder? Hi? down there, hell-bent on destroying us. The only way to defeat Topside is to stop at nothing. We should prepare our own countermeasures. Imagining yourself a hero. I'm afraid this will be a very short reunion. You talk too much. Here we go. You people down here are all the same. Bit of advice. Don't threaten the guy who pours the drinks. I would say that the first trailer was far more impressive, it was far more action-packed and the music effects were far better, but this one has this sort of like rawness to it that I'm also really liking. <laughs> Quick disclaimer, it completely slipped out of my head that this is a series, not a movie, so yeah, I call it a movie throughout the video. We were once one tribe. Now, we are houses divided. One of the things that I've noticed about this trailer right off the bat is that the first trailer mostly revolved around why. You know, we saw some back flashes, we saw some, you know, scenes with her father, and all of this kind of told us how important her sister is to her and how she's going on this quest to save her. So the entire purpose and aim of the movie seemed to be saving the sister. They did, you know, slightly tease the idea of the kingdoms parting and how the top ones are more progressed and how they have to use science and technology in order to move forward. But this trailer mostly revolves around the atmosphere. So they started with telling us about the kingdom parting, you know, again, how the top ones are more progress now and now there's like this sort of chaos rising. And the idea of why trying to save her sister was sort of like pushed at the back. So now I'm beginning to think that both these ideas are going to go hand in hand. Why being the main character will have to face the problem of the kingdom parting while she tries to save her sister and that is going to obviously make it harder. I used to, you know, believe that the, you know, why trying to save her sister was going to be the main plot and this is just like something happening in the background that will not even affect anything. But now I think that both of these ideas are, you know, going to move neck and neck and why is going to face problems, not just because, you know, her sister is with the kidnappers, but because this like chaos is rising. To go round. That's Kevin Levin from Ben 10. Or at least a zombie. Hi. I said this before and I will repeat myself happily. The animation is just so stunning. Not just because of the fact, you know, that the characters are really sharp and their hair and features are just so well defined but also the fact the background is just as sharp. The machinery, the weapons, even the fireworks are really geometric. And I think that is 
really amazing but sometimes when you look at you know even live action movies that seems to be you know a bit overpowering because you would look at this scene and you don't even you're not even able to focus on the characters because the background is taking up all of your attention so here i was like okay why is it not taking up the attention let's listen to the dogs first the dogs are not going to stop so let's just continue the thing that I noticed about the backgrounds was the fact that even though they were really sharp, they went for like dark and dull colors or at least colors that went really well together. So now when you would look at the scene, the character would be main in focus. But as soon as the character is not facing the screen, the backgrounds became really vibrant and had like fires or fireworks in them. So I think that is really important because this is exactly what makes kids interested in cartoons. The colors are constantly changing. All these, you know, shapes are moving on the screen. The colors are vibrant and that gets them to watch it. I'm a person like that. The moment you throw in beautiful sets, beautiful colors, I'm interested. Obviously, there are audiences that prefer dark and dull colors like, you know, Game of Thrones and The Witcher. They have like this black theme about them. But if you look at, you know, other series like, say, The Wheel of Time or other historic shows, they have all like the purples and the blues and the aquamarines and I personally prefer that and I feel like with Arcane they have gone for both themes. The characters have this like you know um, really blue hair but the background is sort of you know dulling it down but at the same time keeping it interesting. So I think that is very important. It is pretty hard to balance because sometimes you just make a mess but the colors hair and the whole geometrical shapes and everything about the sets and the characters really catches your attention and I love that. Imagining yourself a hero. I'm afraid this will be a very short reunion. You talk too much. See, everything related to why is really vibrant. The colors are like blues and purples have machines everything is shining and glowing and then the background is like this dull green so that the attention doesn't move away from why and i also really like how the dialogues are like okay so you imagine yourself a hero and she's like you talk too much don't you i mean if you ever find yourself facing an enemy please kill them and then do the talking because while you're doing the talking they are alive and they have a chance at killing you so just you know kill them or don't because um, this is the 21st century and we live in the actual human world where people are punished for their doings and just you know even if you're not punished for your doings just don't kill people I mean unless they are like really bad people that just deserve to die but how do you know if someone is deserving of death I mean sometimes they killed someone so now they are deserving of death but sometimes they're really bad but they haven't killed anyone I think the seven deadly sins, perhaps, make someone eligible of dying, being murdered. Here we go. I just have one question. They are showing us all these amazing weapons, all these really beautifully made characters, and they are not turning this into a video game. What are you doing, Netflix? We need a video game out of this. Can you imagine playing something this badass? It's going to be phenomenal. I mean, just that the big machine gun thing that she was holding, like you could drive on it. It was that big and it shoots. Like it's a Batmobile, but like sort of portable because you have to carry it, it won't carry you. It was so, so insanely amazing. And we need a video game out of this. And lastly, the best thing about Arcane is the fact that even non-gamers can enjoy it because, you know, they are giving this, you know, storyline that is easy to understand. There is why she's trying to save her sister in a kingdom that is falling apart. That's so easy to understand. And they are giving all this amazing action and art in it that is just going to make you want to watch it, whether you're a gaming fan or not. So I think that is what a movie or a TV show is about, to, is supposed to be about. It is supposed to attract all sorts of audiences. And that's what I am mostly about because I don't, I don't even know where I was raised. Was I raised under a rock? Because I do not know the backstory of 90% of the things. And you might think you don't know the backstory about 90 things as well. But I literally 
don't know the backstory of anything. I have not even watched any Marvel films. I am I, I live under a rock, okay? So for me to come across movies that, you know, don't really require me to have a background knowledge is an absolute delight. And I love when people explain things to me. <laughs> That's literally what my YouTube channel is. Everyone just schools me in the comments and I love it. So I'm really looking forward to this, not just for Kevin anymore, because it literally seems like an amazing series. But um, what was I saying? <laughs> God, I feel like I think I'm, I'm getting the temperature now. Um, what was I saying? I'm not just watching this for Kevin. But also, yeah, um, I'm really liking the fact that it also added the element of family in there. She's trying to save her sister instead of, you know, just a random assassin being sent on a mission. It's been done before. People are like, okay, I have nothing better to do, so let's go and rob a bank. I think when there is a purpose like, you know, saving someone so important to you, that adds more connection, that allows you to connect more with the story. Um, obviously, the random bank robbery is more fun, but this is more connective. So, um, really looking forward to this, and that is it. When I sat down to make this video, I told myself to keep the volume low. I mean, the last thing my throat needs right now is me screaming at the top of my lungs, and yet that is exactly what I did. Anyway, um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a like. Also, comment below and let me know your thoughts. And Biko, you amazing human being, you told me that the final trailer for Arcane was out. Thank you so much for looking out for me and being so interested in my opinion. Thank you so much. So, yeah, thank you for being there for me. And it just, it's like, it's not working anymore. I mean, normally it doesn't work. And today it's like on an extra lazy vacation. So... Um, subscribe, click the notifi notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload. I, I can't talk. Um, so subscribe, click the no notification bell. So you, I, why can't I talk? Um, so you'll be notified every time I upload. And also check out my comedy channel. It's at LNF. And my Instagram, it's at LNF underscore Fox. Okay, my voice is getting... <clears throat> wow, I'm, I'm really getting sick now. Anyway, um... The links to my socials will be in the description box. I'm the only on the Fox, and I'll hopefully catch you in the next video. I'm the... What? what? I'm the only Elena Fox in this world. I'm the only Elena Fox in this world, and I'm really proud of myself because I did not reveal any Lucifer spoilers today. A thumbs up, a pat on the back for myself, and bye!